Hey there everybody, welcome to the channel. We're going over the new firmware for the Z9, which is the firmware 4.10. It has the Bird AF added in, and we're here at Raccoon State Park. Now we just got here and I haven't really seen a whole lot. Now, as you can see, hopefully my kayak video, this part, talking head in the boat, is much higher quality because we are recording on a ZFC on a tripod in the boat and we have a shotgun mic on top with the Zoom F2. So hopefully this was a huge upgrade. So we've changed the camera into Bird AF and we're using the full area for auto area and we're gonna see how accurate it gets. I have tested a little bit and it seems to be one heck of a good improvement. So hopefully with some video evidence I can uh, convince you that it's pretty great. And to record the EVF, per usual, we got the uh, Zcam IP Man Gemini on here with the phone. And I also have the new uh, 180 to 600 Nikon lens, which is super sweet. If you want to see my initial review and uh, first time out with it, doing something, you know, shooting something with it, uh, check out a little blip up there for a video from the Cleveland Air Show. There's a kingfisher up here on this branch. Let's see if we can't just kind of get towards them. Wind's kind of not that strong today, but it's not ideal. Not bad, not bad, but I think I'm going to switch over to 3D tracking so I can at least put the dot on the bird and then let bird AF take over from there. Well, he ran to the other side of the lake. But for my first uh, two seconds trying this, definitely seems like an improvement. Definitely seems to find the bird when it's uh, in, in like you know brushy areas with a busy backdrop. Because back there, I mean, you can see the uh, the bush that it was like sitting on the branch was I don't know three feet from the background, and the camera still held on pretty good. Now I know people are saying, but the AF moved a little bit, the box moved a little bit. But I guarantee you when you go and actually look at the pictures, it's, you're going to get probably 30, 40, 50 sharp ones in focus. That's good. Like, I, it's on 20 FPS and I probably only took 40, 50 pictures right there. So, there's some big birds flying over top of us here. Looks like a pair of uh, red-tailed hawks. That's pretty cool. Now, not exactly the hardest thing to photograph. I'd say they're probably 200, 250 feet away. Honestly, I thought they were eagles at first, but nope, no eagles. super cool it was too shallow here for the motor so we kicked it up used the paddle carry him around this corner and I had a feeling something was gonna be there Looked right through the brush and you could see a little blue heron doing his fishing so that's I mean, it's just a blue heron but it's one of my favorite things just sneak up on an animal and watch them for a few minutes of uh, you know what they're up to as a heron flies directly over top of our head, and I didn't even notice the last second. Looks like he's just going to chill in this tree up here. Well, with the uh, water being so calm, no wind back here, I think I'm going to try video with bird AF. See how that goes. 
Well, I'm sure this isn't what you thought whenever I said bird AF video. But we're going to try it out. He just moved up to another tree, so... I definitely need an anchor for this. I definitely wish there wasn't so many planes flying around overhead. Yeah, I would say that in uh, video for auto area in bird AF, AF full time, and uh, that's really good. That's in 4K, 120, 2.23x crop, so bad with math, 1200 millimeters. I don't know, 100 feet, 150 feet away. I'm pretty thrilled with that. got to be one of the most friendly uh, blue herons I've ever seen. He's just chilling up there. Okay. Time to move on and tear down this tripod. Well, this is a, a new turn of events. On the back of the uh, creek here, there is a huge beaver dam. I'll just turn the camera around so you can see. Like, holy moly. So it's been pretty, pretty slow day here, looking for some waterfowl to test the bird AF on. And uh, it's kind of funny, usually I don't like photographing geese, but there is one Canada goose in front of us, so might as well take a picture. And can't really miss focus on that, I guess. It is super strange that it's just one goose and nothing else out here. Well everybody, we've made it to the end here after doing a little bit of testing with the uh, 3D and auto area for the bird's autofocus from firmware 4.10 on the Z9. And I was very happy to be able to take my brand new 180 to 600 out. Super excited about that. And currently the Sigma is on eBay if anybody wants to buy my old Sigma 150 to 600. It wasn't as active of a day as I was hoping to find. Uh, I really thought since this was like the last, you know, warm day, 71 degrees, 20 C out, partly cloudy, a little bit of blue skies. Really expected to be a lot more waterfowl and birds out, but win some, lose some. But I think after today, after a little bit we've seen, we can say that the bird update in firmware 4.1 has been a pretty nice update for the Z9 and we know it's going to come to the Z8 in the future as well. So it's not really locked into one camera. And I'm going to assume that when the next generation of Z6 and 7s, it's going to be in there as well. Later in the year, I uh, wouldn't be surprised if you see me back out here again trying to do the same thing, but more of just a, a leisurely ride around in the kayak looking for some things to take pictures of. But I'm sure I'll have other comments to make on the Bird AF by then. And I would just want to put out there that there is a new uh, subscription ability on the YouTube channel. So if you want to subscribe for $2 a month, you can hit the subscription button. And it really doesn't give you a whole lot, but it's 2 bucks. It goes right to my bottom line. Helps me come out here and do this kind of stuff. And it will give you access to my community posts. 
some behind the scenes things and then in the future I might put a little link in there for a Dropbox so you can upload some uh, of your favorite photos to it and maybe I'll do a video for landscape and wildlife critique in the future that kind of stuff Just something fun something different and then at the end of all videos that have uh, new member subscriptions I'll you know announce your name at the end and I think that'd be kind of cool and also one more thing I forgot I forgot is uh, you can comment on the videos like normal but um, members get first responses so if I post a video that turns out to be popular like a couple have been I will get notifications that members have commented on and you'll be the first ones to get a response so until next time I wish you the best of luck happy shooting out there hopefully you get better luck than I did today I'll see you little note here at the end of the video uh, bonus material shall we say so I couldn't really find a whole lot to uh, shoot today you know well here I am, pulling to the boat launch. It's about ready to finish the day. Yep. That same goose. The same goose. Look at him. He's just taunting me today. Okay, other than that, yeah. Just had to vent that. Thought that was kind of funny. See ya.